Hi, Brian Boyle here, physical therapist, work well, prevention and care. So last video we talked about the 170 step implementation process. Today I want to talk to you about some other things that go into making your on-site program a success. And one of those is where we actually do a meet and greet. So the reason we do this meet and greet and what it entails is where one of our team members flies in or you know gets to your facility. Uh, we bring the proposed provider to the facility, the, the person that we feel is going to be the best fit, and then we sit down with you and your team and actually get to know each other. We get to see a tour of the facility. We get to see if the provider is going to be a good fit. You know, for the provider, it, it gives them an a chance to see the, the, the facility, to know what they're getting themselves into before they actually commit. Before they say, hey, yeah, I can do this, and then say, yeah, you know what, gosh, that, that, that drive's just really far. I didn't think it was this far away, um, you know, or I, I didn't feel comfortable there just because I, I felt out of my element. Uh, you know, whatever that may be. And, and the other side of that is you and your team can say, yeah, you know what, we just didn't feel like this, this person would fit in with the culture of the, uh, the company. Um, you know, and when we've done this, what we found is that sometimes that happens. Right? Sometimes it happens from both sides and, and both parties agree this isn't going to be a good fit. And other times that, you know, the, uh, the team says, yes, this is going to be great and, and we can't wait to get this provider on site. And so since we've started doing that, we've seen the success rate of the providers lasting on site much longer. Right? Our average provider is on site about 5.7 years uh, you know, with, with all of our, uh, our clinics. And that long-term relationship, again, builds trust in that provider. That provider knows your employees. They know your jobs. They know where they're going around the facility. You're not having to stop and say, okay, well, where's this person? Do I need to take them somewhere? They, they, they really become ingrained with the safety team. The other side of that is that we order the equipment for you, right? So there's no guesswork. You don't have to figure out what should I do with, you know, what equipment do we need? Should we, uh, you know, purchase this? You know, the, the list of equipment gets sent to you that we propose. You can then take a look and say, hey, we have some of this equipment. Uh, we don't need this equipment because uh, that sometimes happens. Sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll say, well, we would order a freezer for some ice packs. And you say, we have a freezer just down the hall. Perfect. Okay, it saves you, right? Because this is just a pass-through cost. This isn't something that we, you know, we mark up any of the costs associated with this. And then you own the equipment. And again, what we found is that this is really a way to make the program successful as well, because the equipment is then sent to you. There's no guesswork. You don't have to try and figure out well, what do we need to do. Uh, and the provider themselves isn't trying to come in with some equipment and, and figuring out, uh, you know, exactly what they would need. On top of that, what we would then do is say, once the equipment is there, we would have somebody set that equipment up. And usually try to do this before the start of the actual start date of the clinic. So maybe there's somebody in, on your maintenance staff uh, that's really good at, at setting equipment up. Uh, if that's the case, then you know that person might be able to, uh, to take a few moments um, and set the equipment up. In, in all, it usually takes about two to three hours to set up the clinic. And uh, you know once the clinic is set up, that is then uh, it's out of the way, right? It's uh, you know something that we don't have to do when we get on site that the provider's not having to do. Uh, again, it it, uh, it it frees us up to do the job that we were there to do, which is to help the safety team and to take care of the employees. Now, if you've got any questions, please feel reach, feel free to reach out to us at workwell.com. And until next time, we'll see you again.